All right. Hey, it's Doc Shell with Dr. Test Prep. Thank you so much for caring enough about yourself to improve your score on the PSAT and SAT math. I hope these videos are helpful for you. You know, like, subscribe, tell your friends, whatever. Leave a comment. Tell me what I can do better and how I can be more helpful because I really want to be here for you. Um, right now, we are doing Unit 4, Lesson 7, Solving Quadratic Equations from Khan Academy. If you have my book, we are on page 70. If you don't have my book, okay, get paper and pencil or whatever device that you use. This is lesson right now. It is very important that you have the College Board Calculator selected. So as a reminder, the link is in the description that's going to take you to this page. You then need to click Choose Assessment and College Board because if you don't, not all the calculators, not all the graphing calculators on Desmos are equal. And there are more features on here than on some of the other ones. Let's take a look at number one. But before we do, we're on page 70. Sorry, I don't know if I said that. Um, usually I have the basic examples be multiple choice. But in this case, when I wrote these questions, I intentionally left them blank so that I would could teach you a little bit more because these are a good example of what could be used for the free response questions or the student generated responses. I forgot what the name is. Okay, given two X plus six and X times X plus two equals zero. Let A and B represent the two roots of the equation. What is the value of AB? So there's a lot to unpack here, but the first thing we're gonna do is type it in the function. So we've got two X plus six times X plus two, and I am gonna type in equals zero. And, it, oh, it actually did more than I thought. Okay, so whether you type in, if you type in equal zero, it's gonna actually give you two lines instead, um, which is fine because those are the numbers we want. We want negative three and negative two as our roots. But what we're gonna do instead is I wanna talk about it in terms of a quadratic. So I'm gonna take out the equal zero part. And now if we zoom in, this looks like your old school quadratic and we still get negative three and negative two. But as a reminder, I wanna just teach you for 12 seconds, this point right here, which we're not going to use, remember is the vertex and it's called the minimum of the graph, okay? Remember when it comes to quadratics and exponentials, the domain is almost always all real numbers, but the range depends on um, asymptotes and minimums and maximums. So in this case, our range would be um, y values greater than negative five. Okay, lesson over. Negative three and negative two are our roots. They wanna know what's the value of AB. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say, all right, well, what's negative three times negative two? positive six. And this is our answer. Okay. So just be mindful. Sometimes we have, we're given, especially when we get to the later units where we get one answer, but that is just a part of the whole answer for later. All right. Um, if we have the function four X squared minus 16 equals zero, what is the product of the roots? I'm going to take out those, that language. We're just going to do 4x squared minus 16. I'm going to zoom out. Because those aren't technically roots if it says equals zero. So the correct word would be solutions. All right, what is the product of the roots? Here we have negative 2 and here we have positive 2. Product means multiply. So we've got negative 2 times positive 2 is negative four. If you didn't know that, negative two times positive two is negative four. All right, if the roots on a given equation are two and three, what is the value of k? Um, so a couple things that we can do. First, we're gonna type it in. So we have y equals x minus two, times x plus k. And look at the amazing thing that just came up. Slider tool. Okay. Now we want to have our roots are two, which we have right here. Um, but we also want our root to be three. So we're going to keep, hopefully, you know, the answer is negative three. 
Okay, but I'm showing you how to do this in case you didn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this slider tool and try to get that to be three. So if I go backwards, I'm going to keep going backwards. So we can see my graph is moving. If I go bigger, I go further away. So I have to keep moving my graph until I get to, what am I looking for? Three. Boom. Okay, and so now my roots are two and three. So what is my K value? Negative three. All right. Um, in our next video, we're going to do more challenging questions, but with the decimals calculator, they're really not more challenging. All right. All right. This is Doc Shell. I'll see you soon. Bye.